Welcome Capricorn to my channel Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading for you. It is the 28th of April and this reading is for the first week of May. Can you believe it? Uh, so we are in uh, Taurus season. Capricorn, I hope you're doing amazing. So this is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Uh, the reading is uh, usually pick up like, yeah, the energies within a week. Uh, there will be one energy here where uh, this could be a new person, an old person. It can sometimes be just an energy as well. Uh, I connect all the dots during the reading and I will definitely dive into also your career, uh, your current situation, your feelings, uh, what your focus is and uh, what is the likely outcome. So yeah, a lot of messages. Hopefully you will find some clarity to your situation, uh, Kathy Korn, and uh, you can also check out other signs in your chart. I'm also posting frequently collective readings on the Black Rainbow, the new channel. So, that being said, I'm ready to do your reading. I'm using the Rainbow Heart Tarot deck. <laughs> so, okay. Kathy Korn, so... This should be a good energy for you. Uh, it is a sign uh, month <laughs> season. Uh, I usually find when, well, uh, I'm an Aquarius, so I, I do enjoy the air months, <laughs> if you call it that. Okay, so, okay, uh, Capricorn, what have we got here? Mm -hmm. oh, there's a lot of fives this, this week. There's a lot of like, uh, like this, disruptions that will come and go it's like could seem that is a big disruption but it's it's not really sometimes it can actually clear some space it can you know even yeah there's a lot of fives here it's like a bumpy bumpy road uh like miss like in energies happening or wild energies before finding out like okay what is going on <laughs> um i'm definitely seeing uh, around you capricorn that there is a there could be a new path and it's definitely, there is like a love, <laughs> love, uh, first, uh, love at first sight for you Capricorn. It's like excitement. It's connecting with someone again, uh, like you have seen them before. It's a past life connection. It, it's very exciting. You maybe are connecting with the Gemini or someone with Pisces in their chart. Um, I'm also picking up over here. Someone could have Libra. Um, but it's like very wild energy. It's like, um, it's fun. Uh, Capricorn, you, you are connecting, like your feelings could be, you could be hesitating to connect with someone and it turns out like better than you expected. Okay. It's going to lead to wish fulfillment. If you're going for a date or you're going to an event that doesn't even have to be an event, like just going somewhere you didn't anticipate to get out of there with anything like love. Uh, yeah, you might be surprised. It's just like love uh, is showing up on your, um, yeah, on, on your path, uh, Capricorn. Yeah, it's exciting. So uh, let, let's see here on this. Um, we have a seven of wands and the queen of uh, pentacles. So you might be dealing with someone that is, they, they look at you as someone wealthy. Uh, they look at you as someone very glamorous as well. And they want to make a good impression on you. Like this person have like, see big puppy dog eyes. <laughs> uh, the kind of eyes you want to see in someone because it shows that they have love and their romantic feelings for you, Capricorn. Uh, and uh, this person is kind of, um, yeah, this could be very new. Um, yeah, th this, this person could have cancer in their chart, could, all, could, ha uh, could have Gemini in their chart. Um, yeah, this person is, uh, it's like you're making them really happy. Uh, they're very excited to connect with you, really excited. They feel like uh, definitely this person could have Gemini in their chart. Um, yeah, they're feeling really, really excited to connect with you, um, Capricorn. Uh, it's like they are looking forward to get up in the morning. They're looking forward to, it's like things that felt like 
maybe they felt like a bit, oh gosh, it's just another day at work or just another day, but now I have Capricorn in my life, like things are, things are looking up, there is like a spring in this person's step, uh, were, you just make this person very excited, you make this person want to do better, be better, and uh, yeah, you're definitely making someone very, you're making someone's day, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, it's like a love at first sight, yeah, definitely. It's love at first sight, so you and this person. There's a lot of attraction. Um, here there is a... It's, this, this could have... Um, <clears throat> so it's, if you have... Sorry, um, met this person before, Capricorn, then it didn't get off right away. Maybe there was someone else in their life or they're trying to find this balance. It kind of started off with sparks at some point. <clears throat> but then like you they, there was just no contact there was um yeah you just things fizzled out or things didn't get off the ground or you didn't get to know this person in a romantic way um capricorn and things just didn't yeah it's just here like oh oh that's a shame kind of thing this person is where you are very much on this person's mind now is as if they have run into you and like their heart is like oh wow you yeah, know I knew I always had feelings for Capricorn so you know for all of you it's going to be different different sorry for some of you it's going to be an old uh, connection is like restarting uh, but some of you are going to be a new brand new connection as well uh, but I, I feel like there is something about this person's feelings they're feeling a little bit Oh, I don't know. Should I give up here? It's like, there's not really a reason why they should give up. Like, it wasn't really a reason. It was just like thinking, oh, oh, maybe, you know, Capricorn is taken. They are not available. There is a lot of interest in Capricorn. Is that sort of thought, okay? So something tells me it's in the beginning and they don't really have a reason to, uh, well, like be disappointed, but they are disappointed um, because they really want to get to know you, uh, Capricorn. This person is like, they're very, very interested. And I see this, like, there's like this excitement, like a lot of excitement, um, like a lot, a lot of excitement for from this person, uh, and uh, finally they feel like things are going their way. I'm I'm picking up Capricorn, so that's nice to see. Uh, so we have here with the lovers, yeah. Oh my God, yeah. It's like sparks are flying now. I'm feeling here that something. There was someone on the crossroads. Maybe both of you. It wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right place. Uh, but it felt destined, it felt like, okay, you should, uh, you know, at some point you'll meet and, you know, things will, like, you feel like you will hit it off, but you never really got the opportunity. So now when you have the opportunity, yeah, see, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, yeah, it's... Um, love, love is in the air, Capricorn, for you, for sure. So, yeah, for sure. This is thinking, oh, is there, have I got feelings for this person? Have I not? Or there, this person, um, they, they might think that you are, it's like you think they're a nice person. Is some, there could be a friend trying to get you two together or that's how you meet. It feels very new, but it feels like two people would like run into each other at some point, but... It just didn't, yeah, it didn't work out. So it's that uh, you could be thinking like, but don't they have a, you know, a partner or what's going on here? Okay, so, but this person is very serious about you, um, uh, for sure. They, so, I mean, there is like someone coming out of the cold, someone you feel like, oh, you know, are they interested? Are they, like, there is like you are thinking, flipping a coin almost, <laughs> Um, someone could be new in the dating scene as well. That that is for some of you. Uh, you have recently started dating someone, and then you meet this person. Like this feels like someone is dating. Uh, you know, getting to know people, and then it's like, oh yeah, actually, yeah, this person. We had a very special connection. 
and with a page of swords and page of cups is sentimental it's watching pictures this is very much like watching 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 and then sentimental and then like well we haven't really really made any contact it can be that either you or them was not single so they didn't really you know they they didn't really act up on anything they didn't really take any action you might have something to do with your a father figure maybe there's illness or there's a loss or something like that or like an uh, or you hear about some someone with a father that has an illness as well that's for some of you so you find you got to find out through communi communicating with this person okay what happened why didn't we speak okay why, yeah, the truth will come out. So I feel that whether you're male or female, you're dealing with an air sign, possibly Gemini. And there's been a Tara moment recently where someone was very slow to make a change, but, and it felt like there was a connection, but didn't do anything. Then there's been a Tara moment. Someone has been on a crossroads, uh, you or them, uh, Capricorn. It's like, this huge, like this huge change, uh, something just abrupt is, is changing. Yeah. So there is, it could be you Capricorn, uh, dealing with a Scorpio. This Scorpio was undecisive. The Scorpio yeah, they've been going through a rough time. Uh, you're going to find out the truth what happened someone's been going through a really tough time someone could be losing like a business like a, there's something about a loss within a business and maybe you get together like over a couple of drinks like you hear the story and like oh, okay this is why I didn't go out this is what happened uh to me and, and kind of sharing stories uh to each other but yeah something has happened and it if, even if something uh, dramatics happen. I don't feel like it's between the two of you, but in a, a dramatic event is, um, yeah, it's, it's pulling you two together. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, you're, you're bound to meet. There is someone that could unite you two as well, Capricorn. It's someone that's like, okay, I, I'm going to make this easier. Uh, a Leo, there could be Leo that knows, know that someone has feelings for you. They're like, well, I think I'm just going to have to do something here. <laughs> Capricorn, yeah. Someone, page of wands, is like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll sort this out. Now it's time to, um, yeah. There's an opportunity. You could have a new job opportunity, uh, Capricorn, that's coming to you. So there is someone here ghosting the other, okay? Ghosting the other, it's... Um, not taking action. Someone's been got, you could be connecting with an Aries that's been going through a really tough time. They could have been going through a really tough time with a, a person they have separated from. They could be divorced, a legal matter. Something's happened to their business as well. And are really getting into like, or they could be dealing with someone very immature. Now with them, Someone has to come out of hermit uh, as well. There's someone could have done a bit of self-sabotage because of what happened in their life. And yeah, it's two people getting together. It's not, something is like talks within a business, like a success, something was very successful. Um, yeah, and there, there could have been someone here and they made some lies of some kind as well. There is like someone feeling like wiped out from... It could be someone feeling wiped out from a tower moment that happened suddenly. Um, yeah. But there's a reunion happening. Oops. Yeah. A, re a reunion is happening here. It's like this tower moment um, with someone. So for you, it could be with a Gemini. Um, there's like this whole scandal blowing up and and so on could be with the libra as well but um e either way this uh it's like you will hear someone's story you will hear from them i feel like yeah there's a new beginning here with the ace of cups someone a capricorn could come to you a little bit too late uh as well someone's worried that it is too late 
Yeah, someone's worried that it's too late here. There's definitely a either you or them. Yeah, it's definitely because we have the lovers. It's like something is like dragging out. No, to a couple knowing that it's not like they've decided. Yeah, it's a, a couple decided that they are they are moving apart. So you could have two situations, and there is a there is a legal matter and something that is sort of blows up. Uh, it could be at your end, and when you find out, you are like, oh my god. Someone could have been giving or lying about some finances. It's got something to do with finances. Um, lying about it. Uh, there is like their hands are tied. Uh, there is something, yeah, there's some like news uh, coming to to the surface. It could also be you, Capricorn, um, finding out something. Finding out that someone did something to you or took some money from you in a business situation as well. This could be separate from love, by the way. Yeah. See, uh, for some of you Capricorn, there is like a person that there's some kind of gossip and you're finding out that someone took money from you or they kept something from you. They kept information from you. Yeah. They kept information about a Leo from you. So this could be also like, this could be going long back that you have an argument with someone or someone that have an affair with Leo. You're finding that out, but you're finding it out later. But this person here is trying to get back with you and you were, you know about it. And you were like, well, you, I don't want to be with you because you, you know, you cheated that time. And like, there's this whole thing kicking off or that could be as well, Capricorn. What else for Capricorn? We have in your home surroundings, um, because there is a relationship. Okay, so we have the hermit. So like you have kept your feelings to yourself. Um, you've been on a crossroads. But there is a person, right, constantly wanting to connect with you. But you are not really, you are like, you're not really trusting the situation. This could be with someone with, with Scorpio in their chart. You could maybe find out there is a, yeah, someone's a player. You're finding out someone is trying to keep some information here. Yeah. Keeping information and that is like taking shit down. I'm telling you, there is something here that information is like, okay, this, 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 that is like saying like, what all that? Are you serious? Kind of thing. Okay. Someone were very strategic trying to like not get blamed for an ending or something like that. And then like, poo, the whole, the whole like, um, tower. It's like, it crushes everything. Like something, someone could be going through a court case, but then someone is not playing by the rules. This could be also to do with the, if it's a corporate department, there is like contracts and stuff and someone isn't playing by the rules. Then there is like a whole, like this, this thing is ending because of it. There is like authority here and saying no. Now, whether that, what, what that has to do with the, this love, I don't know, uh, Capricorn, but that could be a side story. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, it's just coming up. It could be a big thing happening in your life where you hear about it. You hear it from someone. It's like quite a big thing. Um, a privileged lady. Yeah, you could be the privileged lady. There's someone that want to gift you something here. Um, yeah, there's something about a court case being blown up and there's someone like, like getting sudden wealth from it. There could be an older woman as well. Yeah, there's like a whole, like there's something you will hear about. Maybe that's how you end up speaking to them. I don't know. Like there's like this massive thing changing and, and it's like, but for you, it's bringing, like it's bringing a new love. You could hear about like someone's losing their business or something. There is something like that you will find out about, um, for that's for sure. Um, Capricorn. Wow. It's a lot of messages. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of messages, but there's a lot of scandals going on, like especially the end of uh, Mercury retrograde, I found, okay? So there is an, there's a competition as well, like trying to, someone's trying to watch, they're watching someone watch you as well. You're receiving uh, a payout, uh, Capricorn. You're definitely receiving a big lump sum. Yeah, new beginning in love, okay? 
there could be an ending to a long-term relationship that you were unable to heal. If you are born on the cusp of uh, Sagittarius and, uh, and Capricorn and are dealing with maybe a Scorpio, there is a tower, there is a scandal, someone's trying to, 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 to lie about it, but it's coming out in the open. It's something that's coming out in the open and it's causing an ending. Someone's uh, like lies and like it's 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 like boom it's it's blown up. It could be also a air sign, a Gemini or a Capricorn woman. Someone that is like yeah keeping things in the dark. Uh, like if they get found out, like they are doing something corrupt. It can be something on this person's side. Someone is doing something corrupt to them to make them stay. That is possible. A third party situation. Like they are divorcing and that someone does something very, very immature to prevent them for, because they are just about to take action towards you and they are very excited. And then boom, someone could try to force something and they're like after your person saying, okay, we're going to, if you go, if you go this way, I'll, I'll take everything from you. There's someone here watching and they can cause pain and they will do that because, you know, that's just what they do because they're jealous, they're angry, uh, but I don't think it's going to ruin this love at all, but they will try try to do it, yeah. Someone knows they love you, so a third party could know they love you. This could be, yeah, someone could have acted drunk and disorderly. This could be a Scorpio. They maybe stayed with another Scorpio or another water sign. Someone might have to go to jail. Like, there's like a bit of a mess. But anyway, this person here loves you. Uh, this person, they put you on the pedestal. They see you as the one. And this person is single now. Uh, yeah, they're single, but someone is arguing with them constantly. They are very, they are very exhausted. There is a queen of wands, like constantly, or queen of swords, trying to sabotage them moving forward to this new love because they want them to stay stuck. Yeah, they really want them to stay stuck here. The cast, they're like the, the magician with all the, it's like they have all the tools to do whatever they want. It's almost like someone's trying to knock someone's confidence down and saying, oh, well, you can't, you can't do this on your own. So there's something about a story, story that's getting you two together or, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit random, but uh, yeah, telling you what I see. <laughs> um, it's like just some, a big drama that is like, yeah, you, you, that's, how, that's how you're meeting or someone is reaching out to you to tell you that or you could be at the same play, place and you hear about you hear about this like, oh wow, what a scandal. Someone lost uh, like a big business opportunity. Yeah. Have faith, love is coming. You're receiving what you need. There's progression. Yeah, it's like the, the truth is coming out. Focus on yourself. Uh, someone is looking at your photos. I mean, uh, for many of you, the scandal, right? It is it's more to do with a relationship that someone was like, okay, we're going to do this properly. We're going to follow all the rules, okay? And, they, and then there's like the scandal that someone isn't following the rules anyway. And it's like, basically someone's just been manipulating someone to like, oh, please stay with me for another uh, year because so-and-so and so they're making up all these lies that why? And then it's just for the sake of it. So that, that's the kind of truth. Like someone is like trying to waste someone's time when they are, there is not really the reason they are wasting the person's time or the reason they are, reason they're asking to extend their time in this relationship isn't valid. And, um, that's, that's how this whole thing escalates. Someone have like saying that, Oh my God, I put my life on hold for this. Like I, I trusted this situation. It's something about someone put a life on hold because it's like the right thing to do. But then finding out that the person they did it for as a favor is actually stabbing them in the back completely. So yeah, that's that's what's going to come out. Um, you might be dealing with a person that is has earth in their chart. Um, uh, Capricorn, that's for sure. Uh, they could have earth in their chart. They could also have Pisces in their chart. So this is like a new romantic uh, venture for you, Capricorn, that is like coming out after a, you, it's like this, this something of a bird and the chaos here is kind of wrapped up uh, for good. Um, whether it is you, but I feel like it's a third party situation most likely. 
it's it's wrapped up it's it's like done deal and which is uh, a very good thing because that's not going to be a problem in the future it seems like there this this being resolved or this being over with is going to be in your favor because this person will have nothing to do with the, the third party whether in the third party is a family job or anything that has blown up that before they left the situation they were like you know uh, putting their life on hold and they didn't really move forward in a relationship and love because of the situation and that's no longer the case this person is now moving forward and they're moving forward with you there's a strong chemistry with you and this person like straight away um yeah it's happening very very soon yeah some red flags here yeah there's something to do with a financial scandal and an ex yeah see that's codependency okay yeah there we go yeah there is something about a codependency like it's you you're going to find out from this person when you meet them but you're also going to be kind of relieved that things didn't get off the ground the first time you met them because you would have been involved in like this chaos that you probably do not want to be involved in <laughs> so yeah um oh let me pull some um let me pull some um the Chinese elements. <clears throat> so we have the year of the rooster, <clears throat> could be significant. The year of the rat could be significant. The year of the pig, the year of the monkey could be significant. So uh, Capricorn, these were the messages I had for you. Please like, subscribe and uh, yeah, have a great weekend and a great week ahead. Much love to you all.